All right, so next up is the slider. So just as we always do, what we're going to do is create the HTML. And then from the HTML, we'll uh, uh, format it with the CSS. And then we'll add the interactivity part, the functional part uh, with JavaScript. OK, so the uh, very first thing we're going to need, though, are images in order to have the slider function. Otherwise, we can't really preview it. Uh, if you look to your right, you'll see a big old red button or whatever. You can download that. If you downloaded this least lab materials, it's already included in the images, so you're already set up. Uh, you can also just use your own images. I don't really care. You can do as many or as few. Well, you need to do at least two, but you can do, you know, put your own images in. That would be better. But if you want to just use my images, there's a button to the right, and that just has just the images. It's not the whole lab. Um, so you can grab that from there. Uh, but what you're going to do afterwards is on your site, go to your images folder and just make sure that you um, drop and drag those images basically into uh, the folder there so that you have those for um, uh, for the ne next part here, because otherwise it won't uh, it won't function. OK, so I have my images in there now. So when I do the rest of this, uh, it should show up. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is inside my index, back to the index here, I'm going to go down and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and make the slideshow on the bottom here. So uh, just like we have this content row thing here, I'm just going to scroll all the way down. So this is the last div. So um, this one you can see goes to this column. So I'm just going to make a new column right after this one, even though I know it should be in another row. I'm just going to make a new column uh, because we're doing um, class and then it's COL and then I think it's the number first, right? Yeah, uh, just because we're doing we're doing a full width column that it doesn't actually matter too much because it's going to go the whole way anyway. It's not the greatest syntax, but it'll be fine for what we're doing right now. So anyways, we're going to do that. So I'm just going to have it inside a column first. Um, and then when we are done with that, we are going to go ahead and make a div uh, inside of this. That's going to be our actual slideshow. So we'll just do div. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put the classes in here even though we're not we have the formatting in yet um so we'll just call it slideshow uh and that way if i need to move the slideshow or i gotta move it left or right or center it or make it bigger or smaller or whatever this everything everything that's the slider will exist inside of this and then inside of the slider should be slides so again we're going to do a div class slide is what we'll call it and same thing as before each slide is going to be inside of here and that slide will contain an image and a caption okay so that's basically the plan so we're going to put um those uh basically those things inside of this and we'll we're, we'll make one slide first and then we'll make the rest of them in fact actually i'm going to hit enter and oops enter and that way this looks like it's it's a little bit easier to see that it exists on its own sort of thing okay so inside of this i just need to make an image right so i'm just going to go ahead and do an img and then we need to do src and then it's the images folder, images forward slash, and it automatically pops up. I'll just go ahead and do my first image. Um, and then this is an open element. So let's see. Oh, I'm going to add a class to this as well so I can control these images uh, themselves. So let's just do slide IMG. Um, that way, if I need to format the image in some way, I have access to that as well. And this is an open element. So that's it. There's the image, right? Now, if you only want to have pictures and you didn't have any text, you could just literally leave it like that and you're fine. Uh, but it's good to have the option of text. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that as well. So we're going to do another div class. And we're just going to call this um, caption. And basically, we're going to put our caption elements. So the text that's going to go basically below over top of it inside of here. OK, so I'm going to use an H3 for the title. And we'll just call this slide 01. All right, that'll be the title. Enter, and then we're just going to do a P for the con, you know, like what you would write inside of it. And I'll just say, you know, here is my pick. Okay. So that is basically one slide done, and we just need to copy it and do the other one. So I'm just going to literally copy this, grab the whole thing, Control C or Command C, and then Enter, Enter, Control V. And let me scroll this up. And then we're, I'm just going to do three slides just because I don't want to do a million of them. All right. So now we're just going to change the numbers and things. So this, oops, here, yeah, stop it. Uh, I think it was, yeah, it's three for this one. And then I think five for this. Yeah, five. Okay. So uh, underscore three, underscore five. 
um, that class can stay, and we'll just make sure this says slide two, and that this one, let me scroll up so you can see it, this one says slide three, and then uh, I'll leave, actually I'll fix my spelling here, here is my pick, so there we go, all right, um, and I think, okay, so we have um, most of the basic components there, so now what I want to do is just add the, um, the uh, besides the slides, I want to add the, um, the uh, a couple of things here. So we need to do a previous and next button, right? It's kind of obvious. So let's go ahead and do those. Those are obviously going to be links. So we're going to do A uh, and then class. We're going to add a class to it and we're going to call one previous. So that way I know that this is the previous button. And then um, what I'm going to do is I already looked this up. I looked up what the escape character was for uh, the uh, basically a chevron. Again, I could use like Font Awesome or Bootstrap or something like that, but I'm trying to do this all inside my own thing so I don't have to um, use a CDN or connect to something or download something. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is just put them right in there. Um, but what you could do is go on the interwebs here and look up like, um, let me see, what would I look up? Uh, uh, escape, well, escape. Um, HTML tool is usually where I look up and then if I go into here uh, So it's it's um freeformmatter.com and then HTML escape you'll see there's a bunch of tools here I'm just showing you how I got to it uh, And if I put in the Chevron here for previous and I hit escape what it's going to do is it's going to give me um, Basically a symbol for it, which is not what I used on my thing uh, So I'm going to copy that and then oops not there. Sorry back over here and then I'll paste that, and that should give me um, the icon. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's preview it and see if it's showing up. Control R, and let's see. Oh, it'd be on the very bottom, and there you can see it, right? See the chevron? Well, it's not a chevron, but it's the less than symbol. It's my chevron. So that's how I came up with. Uh, although on the thing I use a different symbol. There's other ways of finding escape codes, um, but that's how I came up with this. And so what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put the other one. I'm going to go this direction and hit Escape. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. Control-C. And go over here. And, uh, oh, actually, I didn't finish this anyway. Um, so I just wanted to show you what that was. Uh, yeah, that's, so we're just going to do the same thing. So just um, A, Class, and this one will be called Next for obvious reasons. And then we'll just do control V and that will be in the other direction. Okay. So um, that looks good. So now we have a previous and we have a next button. The next thing we need is I just want to put those dot notation things um, underneath so that I know, um, you know, like on the bottom, they have the little dots that let you know what, uh, what's going, you know, where you are on the slides. Um, I'm just going to put that in there as well. So what I'm going to do is after this, I'm going to put a break just so that make sure that there's a space. You notice that these are A, so they're in line. So I'm going to put a break here um, to make sure it starts on the next line. Otherwise, it might happen after these, and I don't want to get like befuddled here. So I'm going to put a break, and then I'm going to enter again just to keep a space so I can tell that these are different sections. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a div and ID. There's only going to be one of these, and we're just going to call it a slide in indicator so that I know what it is all right and then inside that div we're just gonna put dots okay so let's just do span and then we'll do class and I'm gonna call it dot like so um, and we're just gonna go ahead and copy oops come on we're gonna go ahead and copy this and okay control C and I just need to make one for each one of the slides Okay, so enter, control V, enter, control V. So you notice that there's nothing in it. It's basically just an empty, um, it's just an empty span. There's nothing uh, inside of it. Um, and that's because what we're going to do is actually, um, we're going to, these are just going to be an empty box that we're going to make the circles into the uh, using CSS. Okay, um, so they're just, they're almost like a placeholder that we can apply something to. Um, but yeah, so now that should be good. Oops, control S just to save it and control R to preview. And you should see you have your um, three pictures. They're going to be right in a row. 
uh, and then we have this, and you can see we don't see the spans at all, and that's just because um, they're not anything currently. All right, so next thing to do is the CSS, and it should make it look considerably better. 